Somewhere along the line in our schooling, we all learned that we should do a few basic things before we make big decisions that affect us or affect other people. Basic things like define the goal so that we know what we're trying to accomplish when we make the decision. Other things like define the problem that we have to overcome in order to achieve the goal. Think about different ways of solving the problem. And finally, weigh the pros and cons of those alternatives. You might call that decision making 101. Well, regulatory impact analysis is essentially decision making 101 applied to regulation. For decades, presidents of both political parties have issued executive orders that tell federal agencies they have to answer those basic questions about the desired outcome, the potential problem that the regulation is supposed to overcome, the alternative ways of dealing with it, and the pros and cons, or in economist language, costs and benefits of the various alternatives. The Mercatus Center's regulatory report card assesses how well federal agencies do the economic analysis that they're required to do under federal executive orders. We look at all economically significant regulations issued over a few years. Economically significant regulations are the really big ones that have costs or benefits or other economic effects above $100 million a year. We use criteria that are drawn directly from the federal executive orders on regulatory analysis and Office of Management Budget guidance documents on good practices. We examine both the quality and the use of regulatory analysis by federal agencies. We look at how well the agencies answer those basic questions that should be answered before you make a decision. And we also look at how well the agencies document the sources and the models that they use in their analysis. We also read the Federal Register notice accompanying the regulation to see to what extent agencies claim that they've used the analysis to make their decisions.